in Yerushalayim. I want to wish you, your friends, and your family a very blessed Pesach season and Resurrection Day. You know, Yeshua, the Passover lamb, the Paschal lamb, the pure, spotless, unblemished lamb of God, was slain on the Passover, buried on the Passover, and resurrected on the Passover. So this is the facts, and the facts are very, very important. So I pray on this Pesach and resurrection time that you will finally, for some, put your faith in the Son of God, Yeshua, salvation, Jesus, because he is the one that gives us everlasting life. There is no other way to heaven but through the Son of God. He came into this world. He was with God in the beginning came into this world in the form of a babe, was 100% man, 100% God, but had no sin. And he's the only one that is resurrected who is called to be Mashiach. In other words, in the Tanakh, in the Hebrew scriptures, we read all about the Mashiach to come. And Yeshua, Jesus, salvation, is the only one who has brought forth those prophecies and still yet more to come. But if you seek the Lord with all your heart, the scripture says, surely you will find him. So I recommend that you open up the gospel of Yohanan, John, and you ask God to speak to you with the heart that he gave you. Put aside everything you were told, told to be true or not true. Like for me, as a Jewish person, I had to do that. God began to encounter me when I was 23 away at school. And I had an encounter with Holy Spirit. I know now that's what it was. But then I went into my head and I said, oh no, Jews don't believe in Yeshua. And God was running after me for six years. He was surrounding me with people, movies on television, in the theaters. It didn't matter. What he, how he orchestrated it was so personal for me. And finally, after six years, I opened the Gospel of John, and I looked up to heaven, and I said, God, whoever you are, I am trusting you to show me if this is true. Is Jesus my Jewish Messiah? I'm putting aside what I was told to believe or not believe, and I'm reading with my one-of-a-kind heart. And I was absolutely flabbergasted. The love of God shot into me. It just penetrated my heart. I would never be the same, and I took off running for Yeshua. And I am passionately in love and sold out for him. And I know that every word that I preach, I will be tested on. So we were never promised an easy life, but a meaningful one. And in order to please God, we must, must believe on his son. The Bible says the works of God. Yeshua says the work of God is to believe, to believe on his son, Yeshua, who laid down his life willingly, knowing the joy that was set before him so that we could be with him forever and ever and ever because sin can't go to heaven and he is our sin covering. He literally became guilt on that tree. He went in our place because we should have suffered the penalty of our sin because the wages of sin are death. So won't you invite Yeshua into your heart and just say, Father, thank you. I realize, I recognize that you sent Yeshua for me and I put my faith in him and I ask you, Yeshua, to come to rule and reign in my heart and I will follow you all the days of my life. I receive him as my sin covering in Yeshua's mighty name. God bless you and happy Pesach from the city, his resting place forever, the city of the great king.